I'm in the mall yesterday trying to find something to, you know, go to this party. I'm walking past Victoria's Secret and I spotted my husband. Now, this was very alarming to me because this man has never bought me any underwear, bra, or lingerie. Nothing like that. So, I did a double take. I backed up. I wanted to make sure if that was him. Because this man, not once since we met, has he surprised me with anything like that. And matter of fact, I don't even think he knows my size when it comes to bra and underwear and stuff like that. I don't even think my husband knows my size. All he knows how to do is take it off and throw it anywhere in the bedroom, anywhere in the kitchen, anywhere in the trash can, anywhere around the house, out the window, in the back, in the backyard when he's ready to do his thing. That's all he knows how to do. So I backed up. I took a look. I said, oh my God, it is him. And I'm going, now what would he be doing here? He don't even buy me underwear from Walmart. He don't even go to the thrift store and buy me some kind of lingerie from there. Nothing, never, no surprise has ever been that kind before. So instead of alarming him, I said, wait, maybe he's here with somebody. Let me just, let me just keep calm and see who in the world will come up to him showing him something. Oh, baby, I like this one. So I was waiting to see who was there, who dragged him in there to spend some money on stuff he never bought for me before. You know, <laughs> these men, honestly, these, some, let me say some, some of these men who got side chicks, they will do for the side chicks things they don't do for their wives. They will go, they will sacrifice and go overboard, bend over backwards, doing things that they don't do for their wives. So I was very shocked and I was very curious to find out who in the world dropped from heaven that is worth so much that he had to actually go to the mall, risk everything. Any one of my family, my pastor, any one of my friends seeing him inside Victoria's Secret with another woman. I wonder who this woman is. She was worth it. I wanted to see who she was. Because I know he didn't go in there to go buy me anything. Not for me. Not for me. Not on this song. Maybe in the next life, but there will be no Victoria's Secret in the next life. So I stood there patiently. Oh, next thing I look, some coke bottle ship light skin chick walking up to him with some fancy thongs bras and lingerie in her hand oh smiling i couldn't hear what she was saying because i kept my distance so i could see if he was here alone or with somebody and this girl smiling you could see her molar all the way in the back of her throat you could see that that uh uh, uh thing that's hanging in the throat which, i mean she was laughing so hard you could see the back of her throat I said, wait a minute. Oh. So I walked in there. I allowed her to walk away. And then I walk up to him. I said, babe. So so what is this? You shopping? You shopping for another woman? You know that you've never bought me anything from Victoria's Secret, Walmart, Burlington, anything, any underwear, bra, anything, nothing, ever. Ever since we've been together, you never surprised me with such thing. Let alone, even when we go grocery shopping, you'll be tripping that I take forever. This lady is taking her sweet time, picking everything that she wants, and you about to swipe away and buy everything for her. And you don't even have patience to go grocery shopping with me. And you hear in Victoria's Secret, place, this place that you never brought me before, over here buying, coming to buy for this woman, and she, she's worth it, huh? I said, okay. I said, no problem. You know what? It's okay. You you just go ahead. He had nothing to say. He was he, he was just dumbfounded. Like a deer caught in hell. Like he, he just didn't know what to say. I said, you don't have to say anything. No problem. You don't have to say anything. I left. I pretended like I was leaving. So when I walked away, he didn't leave her. He got guts. He didn't leave. I guess this girl was worth it. So I left. I stood around the corner. When she came back, I saw them talking. I don't know what they said. I didn't care about what they said. But this man did not leave. He went to the counter. He paid for his stuff. 
So as soon as they were walking out, I came back. I said, oh, hey, how are you? Uh, um, wow. Let me, let me see your bag. I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out what, what should I wear? You got any recommendations? She was like, oh, girl, let me, let me just show you some of the things I got. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the bag. Let me see. She opened the bag. I said, wait, hold on. Let me look in it myself. I grabbed the bag and ran away with everything that he bought for her. I ran away with it. And she was like, hold on, hold on. Security, security. She stole my stuff. She stole my stuff. I kept on running. I got in my car and went home. I'm sure he explained to her later who she was, who I was, and I'm sure he went back and bought some more. But since he couldn't, he couldn't buy it for me, but he got nerfed to buy it for another woman, that's what I did. That's what I did. When I got home, I went through that bag. I'm like, oh my God, she know how to pick. I tried them on. They were perfectly fitting me. I'm like, wow, he know how to pick one too. Both of them know how to pick. Everything was looking so nice. And I'm like, in my head, I said, mm, since I want to go to heaven, I will just wear this, enjoy wearing it, and I guess I'm going to wear it for him. I'm not going to go and step out on this marriage like he's stepping out on this marriage. I'm not going to do that. Even though it was crossing my mind like, shoot, I should go wear it for another man. But I didn't want to do it. I'm not going to be running around there and allow my puna puna to become a tourist because my husband want to go out there and allow his dingy ding to become a tourist and stuff like that and do charity work with his una dingy dong. So, nah, I was not going to do the same thing. But it was worth being very patient. It's worth. It was worth being very tactical. And it was worth snatching that bag from her. I'm sure he bought some more, but yeah, I had to do what I had to do. What the hell?